Real relationships, real conversations. This is who we are. This is couples connect. Real relationships, real conversations. This is who we are. This is Couples Connect. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Couples Connect. My name is Akita. And I'm Leticia. And today's topic, we're talking about comparing yourself with other couples versus getting inspiration from other couples. So let's right. hop right in. Right. Um, I thought you was about to break that down. Inspiration. <laughs> inspiration. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah, we, we find that... Um, it can be challenging to not go into a comparison space when you're hanging out with other couples. Mm -hmm. Like you'll you'll find that your your friend and her husband maybe are taking like three, four, five trips a year, yeah. and you're like trying to put together the one trip. Um, or you might find yourself looking at the their husband is always buying all these gifts for the wife, or I'm saying. or the or the <laughs> wife is always cooking. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> cleaning cleaning and everything all, those things. all the things and loving it and loving it yeah so i mean i think you know it's it's a very thin line between getting inspiration from another couple versus now you're you feel like yourself uh competing with them or you feel like you gotta keep up with the joneses you know marriage wise um and it's 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 a hard um it's a hard place to be in where you kind of you know gotta pull those good things from rather than um trying to do exactly what they do and, and i like that you said um keeping up with the joneses because mm -hmm. i think that is so especially now like where we live in like a community and like you know it's like cul-de-sacs and mm -hmm. stuff and mm -hmm. you feel like more pressure to be like okay they long look like this my long guy look like this they're doing yeah. this i gotta do that and so I think that can happen when you're hanging out with couples. Um, but it's like you said, I think every marriage is different. Yeah. And I, you have to remember that. Like what, like literally your bank accounts are different. Your personalities yes. are different. Your gifts are different. Probably the amount of kids you have are different. There's a lot of mm -hmm. different Dyn things. Dynamics that are involved. Yeah, right, right. definitely. And, you know, it's always good, you know, to, to find that couple that you admire and you see what works for them and, you know, how healthy or sometimes how not healthy they are. But it's always good to to kind of take away the things that you can utilize in your relationship that work for you. Not right. everything that right. you take from them is going to be able to work for you. Because like you said, your situations are just different and that's OK. And we sometimes get caught up into, oh, I got to do what this person's doing. Oh, their Instagram feed looks lit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's popping and you got to do exactly what they do. But what you do is you find yourself in a place of like resentment. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because you're not able to get to that level or you don't know what it took for them to get to that level. Have you ever found yourself in a place of resentment from like comparison? Um, I, well, with the cooking thing, I, I definitely... <laughs> can relate to um, because this is my first time hearing about this because I you know <laughs> I, I like to, to eat I'm a I'm a foodie and um, I you know like it when um, you cook when you do cook but she doesn't really like to cook as she doesn't really like to cook how about we just put it that way <laughs> but I do cook but you you cook occasionally I cook at least a couple of times a week right but she doesn't she doesn't like to cook, which is, you know, sometimes that can come across in <laughs> in the cooking, like not the taste wise, not definitely not so the taste then, wise. Then, then how does it come across? Well, you let me finish. Okay, sorry. <laughs> not the taste <laughs> wise, but, you know, just as like as far as what she cooks, sometimes she may. I cook once the same I, stuff. Right. She cooks the same stuff over and over again. Um, let me just throw <laughs> it in the crock pot or that is let simple. me just. But it's the same but thing. But it's still good. It's just... It is good. But I mean, when you have it every time you make it, you know, sometimes it's like, can we get some ziti? Can we get some mac and cheese? Can we get some, you What's know, the, fried who chicken? Who is making mac and cheese during a week? 
Some That's people a holiday. do. People do. You eat mac and cheese one one day out of the year. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh, days. Oh my gosh. I mean, I make it. I don't eat it. I buy it. Right. Already made. But when she does but it, it she does it well. You know what I mean? So. So um, you have found resentment in that you have found not, yourself not, going into a place. I wouldn't say place, resentment. Of a comparison. I wouldn't say resentment. I would say you know, oh, I hear about other couples and how. You know, the wife cooks and, oh, they love to cook and they making this and that and the other. And I'm like, man, that would be nice. You know what I mean? That would be real nice. Hmm. Interesting. So. <laughs> I didn't, you, that's surprising no, saying, to you? No, or? <laughs> no. I just didn't know that it would be like a place of comparison. But I think that's a good example of how easily it can kind of merge. And mm -hmm. I think, so for me, I think that. Um, it would be like there have been times where we have been out, you know, at events and then there's like people making plates for their husbands and things like that. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily mind making plate, making a plate, but when I've made a plate in the past or he'd be like, no, nah, I got it. I'm going to do it. It's, there's a, a place of accepting the person that you're kind of married to. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I think like accepting their effort, but then accepting um, how they are. And I think mm -hmm. that goes back to what we were saying about um, your relationship is different. Your dynamics, your background, how you, you know, what you're bringing to the table, like all those yep. things, your work schedule, like all that stuff is different yep. than um, than other people's. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I think th there's got to be a common ground. There's got to be a medium that you kind of work towards. You may not get the full a, you know, brunt of what you're looking for. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese and fried <laughs> chicken. But you you may get something. You may get uh, a crock pot meal. You may get, you know, a baked chicken meal or something like that. Um, and to appreciate that, you know, appreciation goes a long way. You right, know what I mean? Right. But, you know, like you said, at accepting the fact that some things may just not be a fit for your marriage, you know, and it may not work for your marriage and being okay with that, mm -hmm. you know, finding other things that you can get involved in or, or do that's y'all thing that sets you, know? you apart from other couples. Right, right. Like you know, we um, we we do a lot of different things. Like we have binge nights. You know, we find a new movie on Netflix or you know whatever the other streaming channels, and we um we watch those together. You know, sometimes I might fall asleep. Or be on his phone. <laughs> or be no, not all the time. You be on your phone too. No, solitaire. Just, no, all the games and everything else. Yes, you do. <clears throat> but find your thing that you that you have together. Yeah, and the, I think the other thing too we had to realize was like certain couples flow with certain things. Like we have a couple that we go on vacation with, and mm -hmm. we're able to like you know that that just works really well. You know, because you can't vacation with everybody. No. Um, and then we have the couples that like we collaborate with, like when we're trying to do a project or try to hold an event or a conference or something, mm -hmm. <clears throat> we know like those business minded couples that want to, you know, they, they operate in that space. Right. And then we have like couples that, you know, maybe we're growing together with in faith. And yeah. so like, I think that there are different, um, couple groups. And right. I think in the beginning, I had a challenge with like trying to put like make everybody that whole thing, like mm -hmm. just because like you're you this... want them to fit the whole package right. of what you're looking for in a in a couple to hang out with. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Instead of just having certain couples that fit certain needs, just like friends, you know, some friends you can joke with, some friends you can be serious with, some friends you can hang out with. Some friends you just talk to every six months or so. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's the same way with your couple relationships that you hang out with and, and being okay with that too, you know, and using, especially if you're like meeting a couple for the first time, using those few times that you hang out to see how they can fit. You know, mm -hmm. how much information do I share with them? How much, you know, how many jokes can I share with them and the, until they like get tired of me? You know what I mean? <laughs> um but I had a question. What do you do when you're hanging out with a couple and let's say I mesh well with the husband or we get along, but you may not get along with the wife? Because that, that does happen. So you and the husband go hang out. <laughs> and then y'all just don't. No, yeah. I mean, I think, you know, it like, again, like there are certain things like if we have like a social gathering, there are many different people there, mm -hmm. then fine. You know, hey, we're not like 
you know, trying to be best friends. I think it also depends on like um, if there was an actual falling out or yeah. if there was just like we just not really clicking. I think that's different because there's a lot right. of people you don't really click with, but you still kind of, you know, they, they're in your space. Like you guys still share a space together and it's mm -hmm. cool. Um, but for me, like if there was a falling out, which has happened to us. Yeah. Before, mm -hmm. um, then I think you know it depends on what the falling out was. Yeah. And if it if it was something that was just kind of like oh, okay, it happened, kind of left like a bad taste in our mouth, but you know you're still a cool person. Then yeah, you and the husband hang out. But if so, it was some drama, then you'd be like, oh no, you can't hang out with him no more. I think it would be hard. <laughs> I mean, you, I think you still hang out with him, but yeah. I think it would be, it might be a little bit more challenging for you because right. if there's drama that I'm sharing with you because mm -hmm. you're my husband. No, I mean, I think, I think <clears throat> if there, it depends on the dynamics because if there was like a blatant level of disrespect to like my wife, then like it's all bets are off. Like I'm cutting off all ties. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. We were cool, but you know your wife did this to my wife or your wife said this to my wife and like it, it depends you know what i mean yeah, and especially yeah. if if that husband is not holding it's because it's it's a hard situation like you don't want it's, it's hard for you to hold your wife accountable because that's your wife if she was disrespectful to you know to my wife so it's just a whole complicated situation it can get messy it can get real messy I would just say if if it is a real dramatic disrespectful situation, it might just be good just to cut ties. You know, to keep the peace. I think to at the end the of, that's the answer. At the end of the day, we got to keep our peace. Right. So if it's if it's causing division here because of other stuff out there, mm -hmm. then we need to let that stuff out there go. Right. Right. And that may give some time for each other to heal. You know what I mean? You may be able to come back and, and be friends again, or it might be to a place where I can be friends again with the husband or you can be friends with the, the wife after you've had that time to kind of self, you know, heal and uh, do some, you know, recollection of, of what happened and process oh, I think we, that. We need to have a whole nother episode about that. Because yeah. I feel like we've definitely experienced that. Yes. And um, it's a real thing. Yeah. I feel like that <laughs> deserves a whole conversation. Yep. On its own. Yep. But yeah, no, I think that this was a great topic. Um, remember, you know, when y'all are out there hanging out with these other couples, man, just take what works for you. If you see a couple that, you know, has some, some great qualities about them, talk about it. You know, have a conversation with your spouse, see what works for you, what each other is willing to commit to and what you're willing to negotiate on. Um, what are some deal breakers and, and work that out, you know what I mean? And, and be okay with not taking everything over to your relationship because it's not always going to apply. Yeah. yeah. So guys, until next time, remember to like, subscribe, and share. Yes. That is our currency. Yep. If you would love to donate, there's a link below to help um, with that donating to what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, we'd love to be recipients of that as well. <laughs> but if not, just share. Just share the information. Yeah. Um, and remember to stay connected and stay together. Stay together. <laughs> <laughs>